Had a great run, but it looks like it's going to come up short, and it does. He throws in the towel there, and Wesley is going to advance to our championship game. All right, well, hey, great. We're glad we checked in on that one. Um, let's go over to our other game. Poppin, taking on the Marathon Man Ice, who just had to go through a gauntlet to uh, get to... Not a gauntlet, a marathon. <laughs> yeah, this is a matchup uh, I want to see here. Yeah. I mean, and by the way, it should not be discounted how good of a year Ice had uh, in Mad mm -hmm. 22 in the MCS. Like, he was very, very good, and I think he gets overlooked a little bit. Yeah, he does. You know, he's underrated. This is the, by far the best year of his career, and he's had a pretty good Madden career. But this was – he had a phenomenal season, you know, making so many events – Looking good here in this tournament as well. 7 nothing up early on Pavan. Um, can I make a call? I'm, I'm making a bold prediction here. I could be wrong. Okay. But uh, I think the Hawks beat the Heat in 7. Ooh, see, I was thinking like the Hawks are kind of good. Like it, that's a tough. For the high scoring offense in the league, they can put up points like yeah. no other. I don't think the Heat are that good. I don't know why. I just don't. Yeah, I, don't think they're, I think they're a little overrated. I, I think if the Hawks can get John Collins back too, uh, not having I don't know what his status is, but not having him has hurt them a little bit. So then getting him adds a little bit more length defense. So, yeah, I think that can be a good series. I still think Miami will win it. I think Miami's a good team. You know, I think they'll be a little overrated, but uh, it's going to be a good series. What's your prediction for every series in the in the first round? Let me pull it up here. I got to pull it um, So, uh, Miami, Atlanta, Atlanta in seven. Philly, Toronto, Philly, and six. Uh, well, no, hold on. They don't have Philly, Toronto, Toronto, and six because Philly does have Matisse Thibel. Or yeah, I I like Toronto to win that series. Yeah, I like Toronto to win. I that. think without Thibel defensively, Philly's in trouble. Uh, Milwaukee, Chicago, Would you say Milwaukee, that? four. Uh, Miami, Atlanta, Atlanta in seven. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Milwaukee, Chicago, Chicago, Milwaukee in two. Like Chicago is awful. They're yeah, very I know. bad. I know. Milwaukee should run over them. Boston, Brooklyn, Boston in. <sighs> oh, really? Six. I think Boston's the best team in the East. Even without Bob Williams. Uh, I, mean, I think I Boston so. is stellar. I think Time Lord would be. Like, when we play Milwaukee, though, like, if, if say we get by Brooklyn and we get, we got to face Milwaukee whenever, like, we need Time Lord, Rob Williams for that. Here's the thing Brooklyn is good. And of course, Kyrie's going to have some motivation playing Boston. But yeah, they don't have anything they have after those two, though. Them. Exactly. Who do they have? Behind? Nothing. It's Seth Curry. It's Fatty Mills. And they don't even. It's... And they don't even have like good Goran spread Dragic. the floor type of guys like like Bruce Brown's like their number three option. Like, you know. Uh, in the West, uh, Phoenix versus whoever wins this game in four. I, Phoenix is yeah far and away the best team in the NBA. Dallas and Utah. Yeah. Utah in six, especially with maybe five if yeah. Luka doesn't play. Two games. I was gonna say if if Luca played, I like there, Dallas to win the series. Yeah, I like Utah though. Um, Golden yeah. State, Denver. Assuming Steph Curry is still on track to play Game One, Golden State in six. Mm -hmm. Golden State with with Seth Clay, Draymond Green all on the floor. Like that team is very good. If Seth without Steph, Steph uh, what, Denver what in one. They're awful without Steph Curry. They are awful. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Denver in like six if there's no Steph. Um, is Five Jamal Murray coming back? No, I don't think so. I know. If they just had one other piece, yeah. like I think Denver could like go to the Western Finals. It's just they have uh, and nothing at all. Memphis, Minnesota, so I've got Memphis in seven. Yeah, that that's a good – I think that's the second best series. Yeah, I, yeah, I think Memphis in six or seven. As a Bulls fan, I wouldn't say we're bad, just young and couldn't have our best players healthy. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is that, Luke, I, it, like, they're yeah. awful because no Lonzo. Like, I, Levine has not looked right this year. 
KD and Kyrie going to rain buckets. Yeah, and but they got, rain... they got let's a, be clear. They, and they hey, got the worst press. matchup. KD too. and Kyrie, which by the way, you said Kylie. Um, but KD and Kyrie, if they both drop 40, they have 80 points. Where's the other points coming from? Because I think the rest of the team's putting up six and you still have 86. Like, yeah. they're just <laughs> not. Like, there's no depth on that team. Yeah, and I think the Bulls, too, like, they got the worst matchup. Like, if they would have got Miami or Philly, like, I, I think they could have hung Shut around up. a little bit. Yeah. But, like, Milwaukee or Boston, they don't have a chance. And they got Milwaukee. Yeah, so. It's like Bruce Brown will put up six, and, like, Andre Drummond will score ten. And that's yeah. the rest of the scoring. Yeah. And, then put up and then Curry, Seth. Seth might hit we'll like go one for nine from the field because Seth is yeah. horrible. <laughs> He's awful. I, I swear, every time I'm like, oh, Seth Curry's gonna hit four threes today. One for nine. Right. Yeah, they just don't uh, have one. Like really sp- they need someone. I, they need people to spread the floor for KD and Kyrie too. Like, all they have is Seth and Patty Mills, and you can't play three point guards at once. So it's like they got they cut James Johnson. Hey, you no, know, they, they don't have, have any floor spaces. Bruce. Bruce Brown can't spread the floor. He's not really a shooter. Like they have Goran Dragic. He's 800 years old. Yeah. Nice throw right side. 30, 38 years old. Steps out of bounds at the 17. Western Conference matchup: uh, Suns and assuming Steph is healthy, Suns Warriors. Yeah, that's tough. I think the bottom, like the Suns, should be in the finals. I if the Suns don't win it this year. They are officially the Gonzaga of the NBA. Congratulations yeah. on being so good in the regular season. Now you played <laughs> real teams and lost. The Simmons play? No. This is Simmons is not playing. No. No. He's gonna come up with some other fake injury that he can't play through and he's not gonna play. <laughs> yeah. I just don't I don't know. Milwaukee, like, I think they're tough too though, man. Milwaukee is very good. Milwaukee has a switch, and that's the thing, is that, like, when they're on, yeah. they are unbeatable. The problem is they take nights off. Yeah. Like, when when Drew and uh, Chris Middleton are on, that team's unstoppable because you've got three scores that can put up 30 plus a bunch of shooters around them. Like, I hate my mm-hmm. life. Yep. They just, like, take naps sometimes. Yeah, I just can't believe we got we got Brooklyn first round. Oh, man, I think I, so I my finals. I think the finals is going to be Phoenix and Boston. That's oh wow. Um, I think Boston is the only team that rivals Phoenix in terms of depth. They can run five aside. Yeah. Their bench is yeah. stellar. And by the way, they have one of the most underrated players in the league in Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart's a dog. Yeah, yeah, he is. And can put up thirty he doesn't, points. Yeah. As long as Marcus Smart doesn't come out like shooting threes and trying to be aggressive, he I love him. He just sometimes he just does takes the dumbest shots, but yeah, he's a dog. That's what I'm saying, Buckeyes. Like if if the Suns can't win it this year, it's because Chris Paul is a jinx. Like I don't know what to tell you. But I mean, you know what team so I really deep. like though is is Toronto. Like I love their roster. Like I hate their the way depth. they they can, oh I hate their depth. yeah their depth their bench is bad their bench is real bad but like one through five like they can switch everything like they got all these like six eight wing type of guys Siakam FBB Scotty Barnes OG Mark Anobi Rose. yeah Scotty Barnes who probably the rookie of the year but you remember Mobley um yeah like even Chris Boucher off the bench he's not great but he's got like a long body where he can they can switch everything you. You know who's been an underrated player in the NBA this year? Um, coming off the bench, JaVale McGee is just a problem. Like he's seven feet and massive, and gives DeAndre yeah. the spell. And when he comes in, like he just yeah. grabs rebounds and bullies. He's people. just super solid. Like he just does fits his role, plays his part perfectly. Like just solid. I mean, that bench for Phoenix is gross. As uh, after one ice up fourteen nothing. I mean, they can bring in campaign. Cam Johnson. Uh, Cam Johnson. Good, but... They bring in JaVale McGee. They bring in Torrey Craig. Like, they, it's a good bench. Yeah. Landry and, Shamit, too. Like, he's not even bad. He's, uh, but they have Bismack Biombo. <laughs> so, yeah, Bismack's a god. See, I don't believe in Utah, though. Like, I think Utah just folds no matter what the situation. Here's why I don't believe in Utah. They can't win in the playoffs. Yeah. Two words. Rudy. 
Gobert. That guy <laughs> yep. is awful. Well, because that guy is they just awful. teams just mismet teams just game plan for him so well in the playoffs. You just as long as you can get a shooter at the center spot of the five, like you spread him out. I love you can't the, defend the rest of their lineup. I love Donovan Mitchell's a dog. Mike Conley is still a great point guard. I like Royce O'Neal a lot as a shooter. Like they're and, defender, and yeah. by the way, they have the best the sixth man of the year in Jordan Clarks. He comes off the bench and scores yep. 30. Yep. But Rudy yep. Gobert might as well play for the other team. Because they're going yeah. six on four half. Like Rudy Gobert's yeah. off. And they just paid him so much and they think that like sometimes they need to just like nice throw. They need to not ED use it. end zone to... touchdown popping. Big touchdown right there. But they need like another stretch five that they could throw in there sometimes too to close games if it's not the Rudy Gobert type of game, you know? Like if you play the Clippers, like last year I think it was, when they had like Marcus Morris at the five or Batum at the five, like you need, you can't have Rudy Gobert out there. He has no chance to defend them at the three-point line. I mean, that's the one thing that's like, it's why I think Phoenix is the best in the West is that like, I like Memphis and I like Golden State. I just don't, they don't have benches. Like who's Golden State come with? Because their starting five is going to be Steph, Clay, Draymond, Poole, and Looney. No, no, it'll probably be Wiggins. Or Poole will probably come or off Wiggins. the bench. Wiggins, Wigg who is yeah. the worst All Star in NBA history? Like that dude is <laughs> bad at basketball. Facts. Yeah. You face face up, Pavin. Wow. But who do they bring in off the bench? D Damian yeah, Lee. Yeah, it's Poole. Who Poole I'm not sure one. is a real basketball player. Yeah. Kavon Looney, who I'm not. Well, sure I like Kaminga though. Kaminga's super young though, but I do like him in the future. He's, he's so raw, like. But he's not honestly, ready. Nice yeah, he's not ready. Throw over the top beam from McNair, Air McNair. Um, I mean, who they miss is James Wiseman. They Wiseman would be a yes. Wiseman's still hurt. He's out for the year. Right, mm -hmm. right now, chat. I need yep. to know whether you're. Oh, nice cutback. Does Zion Williamson ever play again? I think Zion Williamson is Greg Oden. Like, his knees are just... Yeah. He can throw as many 360s down in warm as he wants. His knees will not let him play. He he will play under 100 games the rest of his career. Unless he drops 100 pounds? Yeah, apparently like, he, he can't, can't lay off, like, the junk food either, I guess. I, neither know? can I, and I'm not playing in the NBA. No, I know. You're not, you're not getting paid millions in the NBA, though. Are his knees bad because of his weight? Yeah, because he's, what, 6'11 and 285 pounds. Zion's the NBA Eddie Lacy. Good shout. <laughs> that's good a good one. I said Jamarcus Marcus one. Russell, but good shout. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> They're in trouble. Now, By the way, I'll say this just because Brooke is, on the, is our producer. The Pistons are kind of like a piece away from being kind of gross. Like, Cade's really good, and I like Sadiq Bey a lot. Yeah, I think he's, he's yep. a really good complimentary piece. They just need, like, somebody else. Because And Jeremy Grant is a dog, but I think they're going to trade him. Yeah, I think he was, like, 315. I mean, where, where uh, are they guaranteed top three pick? It's them Rockets magic. Streamer. Rockets were the worst. Who, by the way, I love that Rockets team. Big shout out to my guy Ryan Hollins. Um, I love that Rockets. I just that Rockets team's fun. I think Jalen Green's fun to watch. Like the dude doesn't yeah, care. He just he just goes out and shoots. Um, the Magic are awful. The Magic are a bad basketball team that I are five pieces yeah. away from being good. They're like I don't feel like I feel like they'll never be good anymore. Right side. Whoop, little spin move. Trying to get Cooper Cup going. They moved him out of New Orleans to get away from the food while rehabbing. Like, you can't handle laying off the jambalaya dog. Like, are you eating beignets every day? Come on, dog. I know. Like, you got to take it seriously. Yeah, right now, what do they have? Like, A report said that Zion Williamson was topping 330. Whew. Man. Like, 
That's an offensive lineman. That's crazy. Like they said that like in in December he was he was 330. That's like, what, what I mean you just can't all day to look I don't beignets. The dude's eating beignets and gumbo. I don't know what to tell you. He's going to crab boils and just eating all the seafood and butter. So we need to send him to someplace with no good food. What city has a basketball team? You're going to the Pacers. Congratulations. I don't know. Like, <laughs> where is there no good food? The Magic? Is Orlando bad at food? And an- answer me. Does Orlando have good food? Or is it all just tourist traps? Because that might work. Although he might end up at, at, like, Disney eating Dole Whips all day. They sent him to Oregon to rehab. <laughs> yeah, Portland might work. Orlando has amazing food? Really? I oh, wow. Orlando twice. I've Two been to Orlando twice that, and once was a Disney trip, so. Beam over the middle. Yeah, Got him, Pavin. Fourth and two. 15. Spin move. Icky sticky. 10. Five. And down to the one-yard line. Go to Minnesota. He can't Come go on. anywhere in the Midwest, Warhawk. He can't go anywhere. In the Midwest is beer and, like, cheese curds. You can't go to the Midwest. Yeah, that would be the worst. Season. Cheese everywhere. Burgers, fries, yeah, chicken like, fingers, cheese curds. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do Cleveland, can't do Detroit. None of them. They all have too many burger spots. Like, can't. You will find a dive bar with a $5 burger and tater tots and mozzarella sticks, and he'll never leave. Yeah, Cali, he certainly can't do. Like, he can't do New York. He can't do Texas. Far too much barbecue. Like, damn. <laughs> Where can he I don't play? Know. Nashville? What about no, like, what, like what? <laughs> Up in like Wyoming. Like Wyoming yeah. and Montana. Yeah, can we start an yeah, NBA was... team in North Dakota? <laughs> oh, can't, definitely can't do Atlanta. He'd be at, at Magic City and getting lemon pepper oh, wings. Yeah. Like, with, he'd be Canada? with Lou Will every night. Young Buckets? Canada? Two, one word. Poutine. It's French fries and gravy and cheese curds. He couldn't, he couldn't resist. Good defense right mm. here from Ice. Mm. I mean, Boston? How's the food in Boston? Is it oh, beans? No. Ch- clam chowder. We got all oh, types of stuff. Crab, too. Oh, no. Yes, tons of seafood. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. no way. <laughs> Asian Zing Zion. I said beans. That's all I could think of with Boston. I was like, beans? Is that what y'all got? Um, hmm. Fight end zone Ooh, touchdown pop and he'll cut it down end. to a one score game. Huh? Yeah, what's in Delaware? I don't know anything about Delaware, so maybe. Yeah, but what team is he gonna play for? Yeah, I know. <laughs> the Delaware Delawites. I don't know. Yeah, New York is out. Seattle. Can we get can we get the, C, the the Sonics back and send them to Seattle? Oh, I know, Oklahoma City. There's nothing in Oklahoma City. Yeah, I mean, you just have to make sure he doesn't have a car to drive to Texas to get barbecue. But Oklahoma City is awful. So there we go, we found it, we got it, nailed it. Zion, congratulations, you play for the Thunder now. Enjoy, Josh Giddy. <laughs> Well, yeah, if we have to knock out states because they're close to states with good food, like he can't play in the NBA. Like we have to we have to start a team in Puerto Rico, put him on an island. But like Oklahoma City is like the closest, I think. Oh, can you imagine Zion on City Walk in Orlando? Like, oh god, he'd go to that chocolate cake place and be done. And he certainly can't go to Chicago. Like Chicago is flat out. <laughs> There's far too much there. I mean, Portillo's put a cho- piece of chocolate cake into a milkshake. Pick? Okay. Pizza seems Ooh. to be his go-to from the stories I've... Oh, oh. And he's just going into field goal range. All right. It's big. If pizza's his go-to, then definitely Oklahoma City's fine. <laughs> there's no... I, 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 it would shock me if there's good pizza in Oklahoma City. 
Oh, no, come on. Guys, we're dumb. There's one place that makes the most sense. And we can get Where? rid of Rudy Gobert, too. Send him to Utah. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, you what, can't, what do they eat you out can't there? really drink. What do they eat? There's nothing. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you can't drink. Like, <laughs> I was in Utah. I got stuck in a layover in Utah. There is no good food. Like, send him to Utah. Plus, you get rid oh, of Rudy that's Gobert. That seems like a win-win. <laughs> Solved. <laughs> Done. That'd be, that would be a squad with Zion and, and Donovan and Conley. and Yeah, yeah that's GG's. a squad right there. Plus, isn't the Zion National Forest in Utah? Thank you. No time on the clock. Can he make something happen? Ooh. Whoa. Uh, okay, good thing. Yes, Zion, Zion National Park is also in Utah. Like, come on. F fixed. Got it. The tourism ads for Utah would go through the roof. He's gonna I'd like to, go to, Utah. All I'd the like to go to Utah though for a trip just to see what it's like for like a day. Don't they have like cool outdoor Resorts. things out there? Yeah, it, it, hiking and skiing and all that. Yeah, it's mountains. Yeah, like they got like canyons and mountains and cool looking sites. Yeah, I, I don't. Show you big, I don't. I don't mess uh, with mountains because you know yeah. gravity's a law and yeah. I follow the law, but. Oops, spin move. Devontae. Ooh. Pavin's going to take the lead here. Pavin's taking the lead here. First play of the second half. He's into the end zone. Yeah, I'm not a big skier or like hiker, but I'd like to just check it out for a day. Oh, Bill is on this fucking design. Is there any jazz in Utah? Well, weren't they in New Orleans? And then they they were the New Orleans jazz and they moved to Utah. And they just kept the name. Because why not? There's something, I don't know. There's something um, aesthetically pleasing about looking at the name Utah Jazz. They're both four-letter words. Like, nice. Jeez, Buckeyes, you can't say that out loud. McNair, first and what? ten. <laughs> Throw this one away. So the confused. winner of this game is playing Wesley. What is Buckeyes talking? Oh my god. It's getting late. Oh no. I thank Mr. Football for that one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. Britt. Your, your uh, New Orleans Pelicans flooding the Clippers. Third and ten. Double crossers with a streak, and not a soul is open. Waiting for the bounce. Yeah, There's oh. the bounce. Got him. 20, Edgy. 15, 10, 5. We're tied back up. Great patience right there. Ooh. From Mr. That? Ice. What what yeah. was that? <laughs> that was a motorcycle drove by. God. That was loud. <laughs> that was loud. It was so loud I took my headphones off. Went, was that my <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that was really loud. Also, by the way, with that loss, Cleveland keeps their first round pick. And uh they, Indiana gets Cleveland's lottery protected pick next season. Hmm. This guy, Jonas Valanciunas, nine fantasy points at halftime. Well, 
What if the NBA had a tournament like the NIT at the end of the year to see the best of the worst teams to battle for the number one pick? Does the winner get the number one pick? Because that makes no sense. Does the loser get the number one pick? Because that'd be bad to watch. You know the NIT is not for the worst teams, right? You know the NIT are like, the, they're like the next best teams. But it's not like the one-win college teams get in the NIT, right? I always thought NIT stood for not in tournament. What does it stand for? National Invitation. Oh. And then there's the CBI, the College Basketball Invitational, which is the NIT of the NIT. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. Yeah, Kirk. NBA players don't care. They would not do that. Big fourth and one here. Everything's covered. Good defense. Yeah, there's three tournaments. Yeah. Fourth and a yard, and that's going to be a turnover. Ice locking down and getting the ball back on the 34-yard line. Right. Oh. 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 Huh. Andy. Huh. Andy Dandy. What was that? So the Rockets will have a top three pick in the NBA draft, and they have the seventeenth overall pick as well. That's all crazy. The, the you're, just 17th... all, you're just an all-out Rockets fan now. Crazy. They just they they are interesting to me. I, I I like a lot of what they have. I mean, the oldest player that played for this year was Christian Wood, uh, other than Eric Gordon. Yeah. Like, the oldest, like, core player is Christian Wood. So, and they're would you trade KPJ, or would you try to keep him off the bench? I don't know what his contract is, but... I'd keep him on the bench. I, yeah. I think he's a great six-man. Yeah, I do, too. But if he's got I a big contract, he's a point guard. you might, you might want to... Yeah, you might want to trade him, though, if his contract's kind of big. Oh, wide open. Oh, oh out of dude. bounds. He's got. He's rookie extension eligible, eligible for the max now. He's not going to get it, but uh, he's making three million a year next year. Oh, yeah. Then I just keep him off the bench. He's still on his rookie deal. Like, yep. So they need like a point guard though. That's so that's what they need because I don't mind. I mean, that's what Jay Sean they Tate. want KPJ to be that. They want him to be that. Yeah. It's just, uh... Here's the answer. They are going to if they get the top pick, they're going to get Paolo Banchero, a six ten stretch four that can bully. Yeah. And they're going to bump Jay Sean Tate out of the lineup. They really don't like him. He just hasn't played well for him. Like. Yeah. And then look at a point guard at seventeen. Okay, so then, well, so what would your lineup be? Who who starts at the four for them right now? Uh, right now, their lineup is uh, the four is going to be uh, Alperin Sengun. They're big on Sengun. They love that guy. Yeah, but he so he's going to play next to Wood though. I think they're going to trade Christian Wood. He's twenty six. Yeah. He's got trade value. I think they're going to trade Wood. And I think so, their lineup so then next year will be... Would, but then Sengu would be the five then. If plays they the five. Wood, right? Yeah. So I think they end up yeah. with KPJ picked off. Ice locks down again. Um, wow. I think their lineup next year... I mean, depending on who they take at the... At 17, if they take Banchero at one... The line that they want to run is KPJ, Jalen Green, Garrison Matthews, Paolo Banchero, Alperin Sengun. Like, Garrison that's, Matthews, that's the though, he's, they want to he's, run. He's, he's, Garrison Matthews is trash. He's a shooter. I mean, yeah, he can shoot. He can spread the floor, but I, can, I don't think he can even defend. He's okay defensively. I wouldn't say he's great. But I mean, the answer yeah. is like they need, they also, I mean, like, think about the rookies that they had this year. As that's wide open. End zone. Touchdown. Ice takes the lead. 
Um, like, um, Kenyon Martin Jr. is only 21. Um, David yeah, like Nawaba like was a rookie a this year. Or, um, Usman Garuba was a rookie this year. They really like Garuba. Um, Josh Christopher is also 20 years old. Yeah, out of I like State. him too, yep. Yep. Like they have a lot, like their team, they had three first round picks last year. Yep. Plus, you know, Shengun, like Shengun, Green, Christopher, Garuba, and Kenyon Martin Jr. are all sub 20 years old. They're 20 yeah. or younger. And KPJ is only 21. Like, they're just young. See, but like the tough, tough thing is, I like Christian Wood. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I like Christian Wood a lot. I, from, yeah, I like Christian Wood a lot. I think Wood is very, but. But you can't really play him and Sangoon together. So, like, one of them kind of no. has to go. And obviously, they don't want to get rid of Sangoon. They just got him. So, yeah. Randall Cunningham. What do you think? When you think Randall Cunningham, what team do you think? Eagles. Yeah, I was going to say Eagles. Yeah, I think Vikings. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was thinking them a little bit, but I still think Eagles. Yeah, yeah, the, nice, so, the, yeah, nice the green, ones. the green and white, the green I and white those, ones. Those Eagles unis are tough. Yeah. Nice throw over the middle to the forty, and that'll take us to the fourth. You also do wonder if the Rockets keep Dennis Schroeder. They like resign him. Oh, I doubt it. Who wants Dennis Schroeder? Nobody. Still can't believe he turned down that what that contract the Lakers were gonna give him because he thought he'd get it's more a money. Four year, and, hundred and, and, and yeah. yeah, and Oops. he ended up getting like no money. <clears throat> Still love the powder blues for the Chargers. Yeah, powder blues for the Chargers are, are great too. Yeah, Jay Gill, but Tate's kind of small for a four. That's the problem right, like with Jay only- Tate. It was the same problem that Jay Tate had at Ohio State, which is like, there's no doubt he plays hard, but he's 6'4". Yeah. He can't be a power forward at 6'4". And he's yeah. not a good enough shooter to be a three. He, he doesn't shoot the ball well enough. So he doesn't yep. fit. He would be a, I think Tate is a great off the bench energy guy. As that's a nice pass, end zone, touchdown for Pavin. Um, I think that's where Tate fits best. Is you bring him off the bench, you can bring him in for the four if you want to go small ball. You can bring him in for the a yeah. three that wants to post up. But he's an energy guy. He plays good defense. He rebounds the ball like, but he just he's not a core player because he's too small. Six four two thirty. Yeah. He is not, and like he just doesn't shoot the ball. Yep, it doesn't fit. Like if even if he was like six 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 seven, it'd be okay. He could play the four, but six four, it's like he doesn't fit anywhere because he can't shoot. Thirty ones up here in the fourth quarter, and here comes the onside kick. Can ice kill this whole clock, TD? Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> oh, you mean because it's 1130? Yeah. <laughs> Guess what time I have to leave for I my sure flight tomorrow morning? So. What time? 3.15 in the morning. Woo-hoo-hoo. That's in... Oh, that you're at three hours behind, but yeah, still. Yeah, I am going to the Bruins game tomorrow. Uh, nice. That's a noon. Ooh. It's a noon start time. Ooh. Snag touchdown, touchdown ice. Who are the Bruins playing tomorrow? It's a noon start time, so I got to be up around nine a.m. Um, they're playing the. I want to say the Penguins. Oh, that's a good game. Yeah, Pittsburgh, Boston. Yeah, and it's getting that's close to playoff game. time too. It's a great yeah, game. So, no, I'm pumped. Here's the thing I don't get, and this is where JB Bakerstaff, I have questions. Yes, I get it. You brought back Jared Allen, and Jared Allen is good. 
played 36 minutes tonight. He had 11 points and three boards. Kevin Love played 10 minutes. Kevin Love has played so well for the Cavs the last 20 games. I know. And I know. I didn't. I know. Yeah. Play I know. He doesn't minutes. play him. Yeah, it's so bizarre. Like he should be playing more than Laurie Markkinen. No. I don't know about more. I mean, Kevin Love is still 33 years old. Like, he doesn't have the Yeah, not stamina. more, but, like, they give Laurie Marketing like, 35 minutes. I don't know how much he played tonight, but he usually like, gets, he like, 30, 35 minutes. minutes. Yeah, like, come on. He can get he can get 25. You give Kevin Love the other 25, you know? Or yeah, very nice. Marketing scored marketing, 26 but... tonight, so he's their leading scorer. Garland oh, went 9 of 27 yeah. from the field. Like, ew. Also, yeah. I'm not sold that Karis LeVert is any good. I like him as, like, a sixth man. Like like an off the bench score, you know, but like limited, not like super high minutes, like you know, fifteen twenty minutes, like that. That's kind of how I like him, kind of like a Lou Will, but he's a little bit bigger and can defend a little bit better. You know what I mean? Like that type of that type of role. First and ten, handoff up the middle, run there for Dickerson to the forty three yard line. Only the fourth carry for him. Thirty eight, thirty one. Why isn't Pavin live? He's streaming on alert. Second and two. Back base. You see Pavin now. He's really trying to use his clock. We love that. Use a little bit of his clock. Try to score. Go for two. And win the ball game. And he'll be able to take this down to the two-minute warning. Wesley waiting in the wings for the winner of this one. A lot of Cup Series points. A win in the uh, a second place finish in a Friday Night Football gets you 50 points. First place takes home 100 points. A win in Friday Night Football can pretty much guarantee you a spot in the uh, in the Cup Series. He is live. Oh yeah, he I is. see him. He is live. 132 in there. Yeah. <laughs> Good joke. Good joke. Let's pop and rush this clock down. Hand off Dickerson. Another first down. What? I mean, if you're ice, are you thinking about using timeouts here, TD? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I think after this, you see where you're at after this first down. You kind of get a feel for it. But I do think if Pavin gets another set of, uh, another first down, then Ice definitely starts to use those timeouts. Cash loses this game. The stats make no sense. They got out-rebounded. The Cavs got out-rebounded, and Clint Capella didn't play. Unreal. And the Cavs are known to just have the hu have that huge lineup. All, you know, three seven footers. Markinen, Mobley, Allen. They got Kevin Love. That's wild. Handoff. Dickerson. The 21. Ice using those timeouts now. Imagine being a pro player and playing like this. Well, I mean, Pavin's made what, $300,000? So, <laughs> doing all right. I think it works. He's doing okay for himself. Yeah, it's working for him. Over the middle, down to the 10 yard line. The six. Nice pass underneath Pavin. No more timeouts for Ice. You get a steady goggles diet. Yeah. Pavin's made it like 300000 I think Ice probably made, what, 50000 just this year. Uh, this year he made almost which hundred. Was, which is, and that's not even a whole year. That's probably like bowl. six months. Yeah. Close to a hundred in, in probably six months. So I, think, I think he's doing all right also. Plus, in the words of the great Herm Edwards, you play to win the game. <laughs> yep. You play to win the game.
Second down and goal. 16 seconds. Hands off. Dickerson down to the four-yard line. Pavin will probably use a timeout here. We'll probably use a timeout here. I probably would have called a little earlier than that just to give yourself a little time for a broken play, but okay. I know. Yeah, because you know that's what it's going to happen. But then again, what do I know? I haven't made it. It's going to be one of those scramble drill type of plays, though, you would think, unless he tries, unless he could throw something quick. But I would have gave myself 10 seconds there. Third and goal. Bunch to the left side. One wide receiver split wide right. Dickerson on the right hip of Cunningham. Seven seconds remain. No motion over to tight slots. Audibling with Cunningham. It'll be back to pass. Six seconds. Five seconds on the clock. Four seconds. Three seconds. We'll have a fourth and goal. Fourth and for the ball game. Do you ponder? I know you got a score here, TD, but do you ponder going for two? I think if you score, you, you think about going for two. You got to score first, though. It's priority number one. Here we go. Three seconds. Yeah, he had it. Fourth and gold. Four-man rush. Looking left side. Got him back at the end zone. Devontae Adams with zeros on the clock. Brings Pavin within one. Double in routes, the staple down there, and it looks like we'll see. Is Pavin gonna go for two? He is here. Out the we go. I love it. For the ball game, Ice can't stop it. Stop the clock. Pavin does have two timeouts, but he looks comfortable with what he's doing. He's gonna go to the tight slots. Dickerson, left hip of Cunningham, back to pass. Five man rush. Bush trying to get home. Back in the end zone. Wide open. Pavin Lockhart. Face Pavin is in to the finals. He will take on Wesley. Kitty, he went for two and he clutched up. Oh, game. He let him hang. I love it. The, the fire right there to go for that. That was amazing. He called the same play back to back. Got the touchdown. Went right back to the same play. This time went opposite side of the field. And he gets a two-point conversion. He's going to the finals. What a drive by Pavin, too. Used all that clock. Forced Ice to call his timeouts. Got, converted the big first downs. And then punches it in as time expires and wins it. We have a great final set up. Wesley and Pavin, this is going to be magnificent. Matt P says, is TD excited for no OT? Yes. <laughs> I think you guys can tell in my voice. <laughs> We're ready to go. Our finals, 100. Uh, Cup Series points is on the line as well as $1,000. It's winner take all. And it's between two of the best in the MCS area. It'll be Pavin taking on Wesley. When we come back, it will be our finals. You're not going to want to miss this one. It's Friday Night Football number 121, presented by the Army National Guard. It'll be back.